Welcome to Community Hotline. I'm Monica Weitzel and we're here in Gresham at Metro East Community Media. Glad you joined us tonight. We have a full show and we're going to start out talking with the Center for the Arts. It's the Center for the Arts Foundation and with us we have two board members. We have Bob McDonald and Dottie Lauritsen. Thanks for being here. Hi. Thank you for having us. So the Center for the Arts has been on here before because there's always something really cool going mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. um, Bob, tell me, um, you've been with it, well you've both been with it for a while, but tell me Bob, uh, what why did the Center for the Arts Foundation start and, and what's your mission? Well, I think the Center for the Arts Foundation began to create an, an effort to project arts activities into the Gresham community so that people do not have to necessarily travel way downtown to Portland or downtown, some other place, yeah. but uh, to encourage artistic endeavors here in the, in the city of Gresham and promote uh, the different artistic organizations within the city to, to help them to function efficiently and effectively and provide for our community. That's very well said. Yeah. Um, and, and there, there is a lot of art here in, in East County and in the Gresham area. I know that people that live in Portland a lot of times think that it's so far out here, but really we, we were yeah. laughing about how you know, we should have a new tagline, Gresham, it's not that far. No. You know? <laughs> but it's, uh, yeah, there's well, a lot going on. The last year or so, Dottie and I have been on the board, we've had a couple of meetings where we had invited various artistic organizations to come together First, just to get acquainted with each other, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and secondly, find out what they're doing, what their functions are, and then we've actually had a, a couple of educational programs for them on how to find grants, uh, uh, work, yeah, grant that's writing, right, and so that's on. Right. So it's not just pr uh, producing programs in the city of Gresham, but also helping other organizations to learn how they can fund their organizations more efficiently. So you're supporting them in their quest for success. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we'd like the Center for the Arts to become kind of a, a centralized organization that can help promote all the artistic organizations, whatever the art might be. That's great. Uh, in, in the city. There's, there have been a lot. What are, what are some of the um, <coughs> things that the foundation has put on? What are some of the events and programs that you've done in the past? Well, one thing that's current right now, actually it's, I think this is perhaps the eighth year is the Music Mondays program mm -hmm. on, the, on the plaza. Every Monday for July and August, uh, we have different musical groups coming in to perform and entertain. It's free, open to the public. Come on down, bring your lawn chairs, bring your picnic well, lunch. Sometimes uh, at lunchtime, and then they've had some in the evening We've had them at well. lunchtime, but the last few years now, it's been in the evening, right, and right. Uh, I have gone to them and enjoyed them immensely. They're fun. And we can run three, 400 people there. It's, yeah. Oh, programs. yeah. And if it's hot, you've got yeah. the fountains there, yeah. and yeah. all the exactly. kids are out there. Yeah. And Metro East has filmed quite a bit of, of those. Uh, yeah. I think with the fountains too, a, a lot of families now come down, bring their children to yeah. play in the oh, water yeah. fountain while they listen to the music. And and people get up and dance, and you know they, they have do. a little picnic, yeah. lunch, and they dinners, do. whatever. It's it's really fun. It's so a, yeah. Music yes. Mondays is is uh, one very strong program that we're running mm -hmm. right now. We've uh, done Third Thursdays mm -hmm. in the old. Uh, uh, in the museum, historical museum there, uh, for a couple of years where, where we have featured different artists. Right, different kinds of different art. Different kinds yeah. of art. Yeah, sure. You had storytellers, you had um, mm -hmm. um, music, yeah, different yeah. musicians, and, and instrumentalists, and, and yeah, so on. There was yeah. all sorts of mm -hmm. stuff. Really, and I remember there was animators, there was all sorts of things. The, yeah, mm -hmm. real yeah. diverse um, group of, of artists. So, but now you have uh, a new event coming up. Um, right, we yeah. do. So, okay. Dottie, you, you've been real involved in and getting this put on, is that right? I have. You have. I just am so delighted that I met this woman, um, Jane Bonboskirk, who is an actress and has done 
um, quite a few productions, one woman shows of Eleanor Roosevelt. Wow, have you seen it yet? Have I you? have not seen it. I have read reviews. I've met her. She's uh -huh. a dynamic, outgoing person, and I could just see her transforming from herself into oh, this wow. dynamic woman who was a big part of our history. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, getting to see it on stage unravel for for people. It's it's going to be quite an exciting show. I cannot imagine doing a one woman show or a one man show. I, I just know. to me that sounds overwhelming. And it's about an hour yeah. long. I understand. An hour and a half. A hour and a half. Okay. And she comes out and she actually transforms herself in front of your. You're, she comes out as herself and then she really? actually goes through the art of transforming into this oh. person while she's talking about her all on stage just with lighting and a mic and a few very small props talking about this remarkable woman who was a big part of our history. Wow. That, that in mm -hmm. itself is, I, I is know. enticing. I know. Yeah. Isn't I, I think it? she's a yeah. very talented lady because I believe she has done many shows of different uh, historical characters. Wow. She has. Yeah. It's she a great has. way, I would think, for people that are not familiar with the life of Eleanor Roosevelt, especially right. maybe mm -hmm. you know younger people right. that maybe had never right. um, read about her to, yeah. to find out yeah. because I imagine well. it's pretty well, it's yeah. true to history? It, well, it is. She had um, a special writer who wrote this, this script for her, Across the Barrier of Fear, who is a well-known woman who went through a whole script wrote it and put it together. And I think this, she comes across for a lot of people and in a lot of different areas. If you're interested in theater, just mm -hmm. going and seeing a great production. And, and just that, that transformation and just is just that really part of it yeah. is, is great. Uh, I don't know that we've had a lot of that kind of art out mm -hmm. here in mm -hmm. the East County. And then for historians, yeah. you know, um, growing up, I heard a lot of stories, and um, I'd like to know if all of those stories are really, you know, true, right. or were they just what my folks thought, or other people mm -hmm. who were influential in my life told me. So give me a chance to go and see, and maybe spark more interest in looking sure. into history sure. in a different way. Mm -hmm. So I think she can reach a lot of different people on a lot of different levels. It's also kind of interesting from a female perspective because you have a you know female yeah. an actress, you have the writer, and right. and then the, it's about uh, you know a, a famous female. So you know that's kind of interesting yeah, too. For, it is. You know, just from that I think it's also yeah. interesting uh, this barrier of fear that she references, and I read somewhere where she said much of what she has done she ha has had to cross her own personal barrier oh. of fear. I was going to ask where to that came from. To yeah. 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 What she has accomplished. <clears throat> And historically, as a retired educator, I can see this program being very interesting mm -hmm. to teachers mm. uh, and there. even students, uh, especially too. older students, yeah. you know, not the lower elementary, but students getting a bigger glimpse into the life of Eleanor Roosevelt, and I'm sure it will reflect also onto her husband. I'm sure it will, yeah. yeah. So uh, you're, you're right, Bob, because I, thinking about it, when you said like older students mm -hmm. going back to school maybe, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. because that can be really scary. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and just people, anybody in a point in their lives where they're, they're scared or afraid to try something, yeah. she's somebody that yeah. really uh, put herself out there and did mm -hmm. some amazing things. Yeah that probably she never thought she would do. And that across barrier of fear actually came from the book that um, Doris Kearns Goodwin wrote about Eleanor. Another woman. <laughs> and another woman. And uh, she, uh, she being Eleanor Roosevelt, actually used that phrase in part of her life story mm -hmm. and talking about herself. So yeah. it's, it's repeated and I think it's something that all of us can relate to in our I'm lives, don't you? Sure. I'm sure it is, yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> what woman or man hasn't gone through yeah. some sort of fear and trying yeah. to cross over that? Yeah. So, but I think yeah. she's a good role model or example for women to be empowered. Oh, I agree. Yeah, to I, do what they set out to do. Yeah, I agree. So um, you haven't you haven't seen it, so we don't know totally what to expect. But yeah. I mean, if people have any knowledge at all about Eleanor Roosevelt, they mm -hmm. know that she was yeah. an amazing woman, and yeah. yeah, it should be very exciting to 
find out how that all, um, how this all comes Transpires. to play in this. Yeah. You have two performances, is that yes, right? Yes, we do. Okay, and the first one is on March 12th, and it's at Gresham Memorial Chapel and Event Center. Right. So that's a fairly that's small a, venue. That's a small venue of about a, a hundred. Okay. Maximum of a hundred, so if you want to get tickets, it's sold out at a hundred. Okay. And, and it's that's, just a, it's a very um, small, intimate kind of a gathering. So you can get a little more up close and personal, yeah. see yeah, that transformation. Yeah, it's kind of a dinner theater kind of atmosphere, because okay, nice. we'll have tables and light hors d'oeuvres. So it's little, it's little it's tables little and not... It's little tables, yeah. okay. so yeah. Yeah. It, nice. it makes yeah. me think of it a little more like a dinner a theater. Cabaret. Kind of yeah. 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 Like a dinner club. Yeah, yeah. that you know? kind of thing. So if that's so more to your liking, then that's... that's, sure. well, that's yeah. And that's what time is that end. one? Do you know it? That's uh, at 6, 6.30, 6 okay. and um, they'll be doing different things that evening and having a silent auction. Oh, okay. Because this is so all part of a fundraiser yeah. for the Center for the Arts. Okay, so the money from this will go to um, support, to the, support the, center. the Center for Absolutely. the Arts. So, Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. The, the first half hour or so is just a mix and, and visit with people and go through the auction. Then the well, program will start hour and, and around, yeah. around seven yeah. or so. Her actual presentation will okay. begin. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. So, so that's fine. the first one, and our second one is a bigger event. It's at um, uh, Mount Hood. Mount Hood. And that's in there. Is that in their theater? Is it will be in their theater. Okay. We can hold five hundred. Yeah. And that's so a really nice theater. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, it will be. So. And that's um, um, April third, and that's it a Sunday. Is, it's a Sunday afternoon. A little matinee, mm -hmm. yeah, three, three to five. Yeah. So that, three to yeah, five. that's that'll be fun. So, yeah. so people that you know either can't make the first one or sure. prefer a, or you know more of a choice. theater, right? Atmosphere. They prefer the intimacy yeah. of the right. March yeah. or the larger one in and, April. And, yeah, no, a little something for everybody. So we want to encourage. You know, we really want to encourage the community to take a serious look at this and mm -hmm. to come on out and support the Center for the Arts, but also learn something about Eleanor Roosevelt. Yeah. Um, is it age appropriate for children? I mean, like maybe 12 or an up, or yeah. what, what would it you depends, say? It depends on, on how yeah. sophisticated they okay. are. And that's the parents' call to make. Yeah. yeah. But I think yeah. You know, by middle school, I mean, having been a lifelong educator myself, I know they'll be taking American history in the 7th, yeah. 8th yeah. grade yeah. level. I think children around that age or higher would uh, be able to benefit from it. That yeah. might be yeah. appropriate yeah. there. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't bring a Especially uh, for you. girls. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. We want to reach yeah. out to those girls. Well, yeah, to yeah. Show, this is a great, like you said, yeah. a great role yeah. model, and um, absolutely. And there, ha there hasn't been that much of a focus in past uh, about you know women in history. I mean, right. there's, there's mm -hmm. more now than, mm -hmm. but you know, right. when I was growing up, I don't remember and we hearing don't, about a lot. Of no, we don't really history. know how important she was in the role in building uh, race relations mm -hmm. and working in daycare to build daycares for wow. shipyards when uh, the war was going on and the women had to go work. And um, I, I was astounded to see her work ethics and wow. so just she, by reading and going through <clears throat> all of the things that she accomplished was we're just... It's probably, I, I'm sure I don't know half of what she's done. Really? We probably owe a very wow. large debt to her for for right. you know, um, mm -hmm. breaking some breaking some barriers other she than really just did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she really did. Yeah. And some liked it, and I have to admit that there were a lot of people who didn't. Who so didn't like the things that she was doing. Who didn't like the things yeah. that she was doing. And, well, was, uh, it's change, and people it don't was, always like change. It was. But that yeah. takes a yeah. lot of courage on her part to lead up <laughs> yeah. some of these areas. Yeah, yeah. and especially is, as a woman, because... Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. which yeah. again is an yeah. example mm. of the empowerment yeah of this yeah, woman, yeah. the example she can set for other young girls. So, yeah. yeah, so I would encourage uh, uh -huh. people to, to come out, bring, bring you know, your, your maybe middle school, upper middle school and, mm -hmm. and high school mm -hmm. kids and, and come out and check it out. And, uh, you know, really if there's organizations out there that have, uh, that work with girls especially, it right. might be a really good um, mm -hmm. idea to right. see if we get a little field trip. And there. bring your exactly. mothers. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> if you're lucky is, enough to, to if still you have your still mother. still have your mother uh -huh. around or an aunt or someone they'll appreciate going back through the history yeah. that they grew up with. They, will, they, they will remember yeah. some of that. They yeah, will. I, you know what, and, and, and what great conversations that might spark. Mm -hmm. For you know? sure, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah, it's very interesting so. to have people in your family that you know start talking about things that happened a long time ago yeah. and, um, and, and, and to be able to you know that they actually lived mm -hmm. through that and find yeah. out what that's about. I'm just about at that point where I can be that person. <laughs> I know, I know. Well, if people want to get tickets for either performances, mm -hmm. they can go on to the Gresham Center for the Arts Foundation 
Um, it's www.gcfta.org. Okay. Or just type in Gresham Center for the Arts Foundation. It'll pop right up and, and pop yeah. right up. And so they, they can, can order get, the tickets online. They can order they the tickets can. online, or if they have questions or problems, or they don't have access to online services, they can call Cindy Passananti uh, at 503-658-5646. Okay. And get information or help to get tickets for themselves and their families. Great, and Cindy will help them out, I know sure. that. She will. Okay, she will. Well, we're just about out of time. Um, anything else we need to know about this? It sounds like it's gonna be a fabulous event. Oh, hi. I think so, I think it, another example is the Gresham Center for the Arts trying to bring things to the Gresham community that will be enriching for everybody. So articulate. I know. I know. <laughs> Thank you very much, Johnny. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Monica. Thank you, Monica. Thank you for having us. No problem. Thanks for watching this first segment of Community Hotline. We'll be right back with more, so don't go away. My documentary was more than I ever would have dreamed of doing. This is a community media station. It was phenomenal. Ready camera one. What is it about this place that makes so many different people come together? Ready camera two. Very professional, experienced people. You can use these industry standard pieces of equipment. Ready camera three. Take three. eyes to something they've never even thought of before. Cool stuff happens. It becomes this community. That's going to really change who's telling the stories and who's, who's controlling the messaging.